Hello everybody, welcome to part two of the Gaming Files Summer Pickups, and the last game I showed you was Mega Man Legends 2, um, so I will do another uh, segue into Mega Man 3 for the original Game Boy. Um, hopefully you guys can see that. Oh, there, that's a little better. Mega Man 3 for the original Game Boy. I'm still missing 4 and 5, but... Uh, I can't seem to get a hold of those games for cheap. Um, there was an online sale at a retailer, and this was $12, so I thought that was a great price for this game, because it's one of those games, it's a Mega Man game, it's going to go up in value, you know, it's a great buy. So I, I picked that game up, and they had a sale, so you bought two games and you got free shipping or something. So I ended up going through his games, and this is what he had here, No Escape. Uh, no Escape is another one of those, it's a movie-based video game, uh, late release, high rarity type of thing. I think it's an 8 on Nintendo Age. Um, this makes it a 7, because Greg signed it. Thank you, Greg. But, uh, what can I say? No Escape. I have not played it yet, but, um, but it was one, kind of like, I'm trying to track down those obscure games now, so, so it was cool that he had that for sale. Um... Next up, I will show you, this is another game I bought off offline, because I haven't had much time to hunt uh, for games, so what I do is I sell games online, and then I just, you know, I, I flip the money to buy more games. So, we have Blazion. This is a, a shooter. This is a game that might, I might put the gaming file guarantee that this game will go up in value. It's an Atlas shooter, like shoot 'em up so... When you think of those two things combined, it, it's, it just screams to go up in value. Um, it's a very good game too, so, um, so this is really cool. I got this for $20, uh, free shipping, so that, that's kind of what it goes for with the shipping. That's pretty good, but I, I'm, I'm trying to say that this might go up in value. You never know. Um, next up, I got some good, oh, I got some really good games here. Uh, you know what? I'll keep these till the end of the video. Um, I'll show you this. This is, uh, this ended up being free, <laughs> but, uh, Toxic Crusaders for the Sega Genesis. This is a two-player kind of beat-em-up weird type of game. Um, the Toxic Crusader movie is hilarious, and I love Troma and everything they do. So, this is a really cool, um, it doesn't have the manual, but it has the cart. Cart's in great condition. And, um, I ended up buying a Sega Genesis, um, someone had a Sega Genesis for $20 and it had Sonic in a couple games. Um, I got to the house to buy, cause I needed a Sega Genesis power adapter and they're basically $12 to buy them, uh, online. So I said, I'll just wait till I find a cheap, cheap Genesis. This one was missing the audio cables. I needed the power adapter. So it had a couple games too. I got there. Everything was in the box. The Genesis was in the box. Uh, all these games were cased, so that was really cool. Uh, this is the... The other games were pretty common, but this one I thought kind of stand out was really cool. So, you know, threw that in the pickup video. The one Sega game. Um, next, a couple GameCube games. Um, this one is really interesting. This is Go Go Hyper Grind. And Go Go Hyper Grind is an Atlas title. You're seeing a theme here. Atlas Taito. <laughs> This is an Atlas, um, it's a skateboarding, it's so strange. So think of Tony Hawk, maybe. Think of Tony Hawk, but your your point is to basically fall and create hysterical falls and more outrageous kind of blunders. It's, it's like a cartoon slapstick skating game, but um, Spumco which are, uh, I don't know, well, you can see it on here at the very back. Spumco Animation, they're responsible for the Ren and Stimpy show, which is huge influence on my life. I love that show, and I used to be an animator back in the day. But this is a, uh, so Spumco did all the character designs for this game. A really, really interesting game. And um, it's one that's an exclusive for the system, and it's been on my list forever, and I found a really good price for it, so I figured I'd pick it up. It's really interesting. If you guys want to check out a cool, cool exclusive for the system, check that game out. And another great GameCube gem, no pun intended, is this. 
Sonic Gems. Um, it is the player's choice version, but I'm okay with that for now. This uh, game is is very interesting because it has all the Sonic games that no one really played or bought. It has Sonic CD, which is uh, regarded as one of the best, if not the best, Sonic games. Uh, Sonic R. And it's also got Sonic the Fighters. It's a fighting game with Sonic characters. Very strange. And it's also got all the original released uh, Game Gear Sonics on here as well. So if you're a Sonic fan and you own a GameCube, uh, I definitely suggest getting the Sonic Gems collection. And there's the Sonic, I think it's the Mega Collection. That's with all the other Sonics, 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles. So really, really cool to have this. And um, my, my Sega CD doesn't work. <laughs> so I have Sonic CD, but I haven't been able to play it. So I can finally play it now on my GameCube. I think I'd rather do that anyway. You know, we'll get a wave bird and kick back and play some. So really cool to pick this up. This was $10. Um, this girl was selling some of her old games and stuff. And I asked her if she had anything else. She had something that was really cool. And that's this. It's a Super Nintendo Advantage. Um, a Super Advantage, I guess what they call it. Give you guys a better look. This is a really nice arcade pad. And um, as far as I know, I don't know if it's the only one or there weren't too many that were released for the system. But uh, it has the same design like the Super Nintendo would. It looks like the power button and the reset button. So it's really interesting. You can turbo all your uh, buttons and stuff. And these are these uh, controllers are great for shooters, great for fighters, and uh, really cool to have. So I'm just looking for another one now, but they never, never show up. So so I'm really proud to own this, and it's super cool. Um, I can't wait to try some games out with that. And I'll show you guys probably my, my best pickup um, in a second, but I'm going to show you a little pile of NES games first. Uh, these are games I was missing from my collection. I, I managed to meet up with, um, his name is Sean, and he's selling most of his collection away. Um, I met up with him and Dave the NES guy, who's on YouTube. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Check out his channel for sure. He's doing great videos. Um, and these were some NES games that I needed for the collection I didn't have. And he gives really good prices, so you can't argue with what he's giving away here. Um... So first up, we have Back to the Future 2 and 3. Uh, it's one that I was missing. I was going through my NES collection. I realized I didn't have this. And I was like, I don't have this game? What? I thought for sure I had Back to the Future 2 and 3. So anyways, it's back in the collection. <laughs> um, next up, we have Maniac Mansion. Uh, Maniac Mansion is a really cool uh, kind of point and click. I can't remember the history behind this game, though. I, know it's, I think it's LucasArts... Um, X, yeah, it is. It's Lucas, uh, or I think it was Lucas Arts, uh, like how they started basically was with this game and a couple others. But it's really interesting, and there's some some dark twisted elements, like you can put kill things in the microwave and stuff. I don't know. It's really strange. Uh, next up, we have uh, Popeye, another one that's been on my list forever. Black box game. Um, we have Mappy Land. <laughs> Mappy Land's another like arcade port type of thing. Uh, we have Ring King by Data East. This was one that I was missing. It looks like, uh, oh, it used to be $3 back in the day. It probably hasn't gone up any more than that. Um, and this one is something I've been looking for forever. And it's, I don't know why I never found it, but it's cool. It's a cool game. It's uh, Tiny Toons Adventures. And basically, this is a Konami game, but what they did was they... Carbon copied uh, Super Mario Brothers 3, and um, that's not such a bad thing because Super Mario Brothers 3 is, uh, you know, regarded as one of the best games of all time. So you can you can dash in the game, and it's a, it's a cool platformer, uh, really neat. Uh, so he had this. I've been looking for this one. I've also been looking for the second one, and he had the second one, but he had it in box which is nice uh this is tiny toons adventures 2 i think it's adventures in wacky land or no trouble in wacky land so um this is kind of the same vein as as the one earlier um it has the manual it has the cart everything is in mint condition so so thank god for that 
and I will show you what I got next. Down here is uh, Gilligan's Island. <laughs> I don't know anything about this game. Uh, very strange. This needs to be on a box art banter. But this is a this is a funny looking kind of. I don't know. I don't know anything about this game, but I didn't own it, and um, I thought it was neat. He had it in the box, and obviously the TV show was hilarious. <laughs> um, the final game that I got from him, and which is a real gem, and uh, it was hard for him to part with it, and uh, I felt kind of bad at the beginning, and I, I wanted to make sure it was okay that he was willing to part with it, but that is uh, Mario is Missing. And um, this is one of those educational games that not too many people were fond of, but... Um, Sean is fond of this game, and it's one of his childhood favorites, so it was a little hard for him to, to get rid of it, but I, I, I made sure he was okay with it, and he was. So, um, this is Mario's Missing. It's also a very hard game to find for the system. Um, it has the maps and the, uh, manual and everything in here, so this is a really cool find. And, uh, and, uh, it's cool, it's going to a good place, Sean, so thank you so much. Um, so those were the NES games I picked up, and now to my, I consider the cream of the crop only because it's hard for me to, to complete my Super Nintendo collection and find some games that are really hard to find. So I will show you first off what I got. Um, I got a bundle uh, online that was a really, really good price, and the seller was willing to go down on this price and ship for free because it was uh, in Canada, so it's really cool. Uh, first up, I have Super Turrican. Um, if you guys haven't played these games, they're um, a lot like... Con si think of single-player Contra games, but with a little mix of Metroid. In, in I would say Metroid because you can you can actually ball up and drop bombs like Metroid. It's, it's kind of strange, but it's, it's cool. Really fun game to play on the Super Nintendo. Um, this That game came with this game. Super Turrican 2, and I don't know if you guys can see, uh, the label is mint, minty fresh as they say. Um, this game is very high in value, uh, hard to find, and I'm really excited and, and lucky to own it. Um, I have not played it. I've played the first Super Turrican, but I haven't played the second one, so this is really cool. I can't wait to try this out. It was one that has been on my list for a long time, and it's just... When you get those games on your list and you're trying to get them, it takes almost forever to find a decent price. And uh, the more you wait, the worse it gets. So Super Turrican 2 finally added to the collection. Um, now this next game, this is the final game for Super Nintendo I picked up. Um, it may not be the most interesting game for, for, for a lot of you, but this game I've been looking for for a solid five years. I've been collecting for at least ten Five years I have not come across this game that didn't have a damaged label or was way overpriced. And this game, I don't know why, but every single time it has a damaged label. I've been looking on eBay forever. I've been looking everywhere, every avenue, and every time I find one, it's a damaged label. Um, I will show you guys what that game is. This is Final Fight 3. Uh, Final Fight 3 is an excellent, excellent beat-em-up for the Super Nintendo. I own the first two. That's why this game has been eluding me forever, and it's honestly the best one in the series. It's two-player. Um, it's just excellent. I, I don't know if you guys have ever had a chance to check out footage or play this game, but Final Fight 3, it's a late release, and I think most of them were rentals. That's why there's a lot of damaged copies in the wild, but... Uh, I managed to find a decent one. I got an amazing price on it too. Like I got lucky because this game is around eighty to ninety dollars almost now, and um, I got it for like less than half of that. So, so this is a really really great pickup, and I'm so happy to find it. And um, completing trilogies is a big accomplishment when you're collecting. You know, you want Final Fight one, two, and three. You don't want to just leave a hole. So this is really cool, and I'm super excited to have this. Anyways, um. Guys, so, thank you so much for, for tuning in, subbing, liking, commenting, uh, doing all that jazz. Um, sorry I haven't had a video up for a while, but this is a big two-parter uh, Gaming Files Summer Series. Thanks for coming and watching and doing all that stuff, guys.
Peace for now till the next pick video.